they're going to engage the, uh, a former deputy finance minister in his administration at the time, Kweku Ricket Higgin, to, to, to tease out his mind as to what's going to be containing in the manifesto with them. But let me just take you back a little bit, that in 2016, the NDC themed the manifesto, Changing Lives, Transforming Ghana. What is going to be different from the 2016 manifesto uh, compared to now? Well, thank you very much, uh, Komla. Um, and uh, good evening to your, to your viewers and those who are listening to us uh, this evening. Yes, uh, this, this particular manifesto, it's uh, mainly going to be about jobs and growth. Obvious, unfortunately, we've had a, a pandemic, which is uh, basically caused a lot of uh, uh, difficulty for us as an economy. So um, what, what we are focusing on is basically to be able to create jobs that were lost and create new jobs and also be able to grow, to be able to grow the economy. So it's about growth and growth and or jobs and growth. Let me take you to uh, some of the th key things that His Excellency John Ramani Mahama has been saying on the campaign trail. He makes a point that he wants to do, or when he comes to office, he's going to do free uh, healthcare. That's free uh, primary healthcare. Already we know that it's uh, captured under the NHIS, but if your card expires, uh, it means you are unable to do it. Now, you give me a gist as to what this is going to entail. Well, it won't be long. His Excellency, former President Mahama, will, will do his presentation. And uh, I wouldn't actually want to take the sale uh, you know, out of his win. Uh, but basically, the manifesto, or a manifesto generally, is about a published you know, declaration mm -hmm. of what, um, if we become a government, what our intentions you know, are and, and, and what we intend to do in terms of vision. When, when, when he talks about free primary health care, yeah. I'm sure you as a finance man, uh, you know how to do the computations. You know where he's going to get the money from. One, have, has he been able to cost it? How much is it going to cost the taxpayer? Where is the money going to come from? Well, um, as you know, we don't behave like the MPPs when they basically announce things based on the knee-jerk reactions. Obviously, everything has been costed. I had opportunity, you know, to work I mean, on the, to, the camera, yeah. I had an opportunity to work with the, you know, the, the finance uh, and economic committee uh, of the manifesto. That's one of the wings of the manifesto. And all these things came up and it's been properly costed. But as I what said... What is the cost? Um, I wouldn't want to be the one to we give need it. To, Ghanaians need to know the cost of it to the taxpayer. If you just have patience, in a few minutes, His Excellency, the President, will actually come out with the right, and then we will speak to it. Does, does he know what he's going to get the money for to pay for this? It, we've, we've looked at all that. And then everything that we are presenting here today is mostly been cost. Mm. Yeah, no, so no. we know where the cost is coming from. I no. mean, it, it, it will be irresponsible of us to come up with things that we don't know where the money is coming from. Uh, as the MPP government is littered with a lot of pro, uh, programs that were not really costed, okay. and uh, including the free, um, the free HS. Okay. And as a result of that, we are really struggling in, in, in meeting these things. So, okay. absolutely. All right.